not an ear opening, it's actually the highway arch. Although you could say it's, it might be associated with hearing because the highway becomes the um, ossicles, right? Uh, then we have the five gill slits, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, pector pectoral fins, pelvic fins. This is a female because it doesn't have claspers. I can tell it's a female because the males usually have like a little finger down here to transfer sperm. Uh, when they when they catch these, they basically inject them with um, latex, blue for the arteries, or, or sorry, blue for the veins, red for the arteries, and yellow for the um, hepatic portal system. So I'll go ahead and show that. The other part that's really interesting is the lateral line. That's that line right here. You can see that, that it's kind of like a crease. You can see where the muscle kind of comes together right there, that little stripe, stripe. That's the lateral line system. And that um, is a groove that occurs along all fishes that's kind of like their external ear. It, it's mostly a pressure sensor, but it superficially has the same structures as your inner ear cochlea, which is a, um, a cilia ciliary tooth, basically. Kind of cool. Um, anything else? We're looking good. We'll come back and look at the circulatory system so we can see the spinal cord there. Go ahead and cut it open and uh, let's see here. What is our, what's our good plan of attack here? It's been stapled. I think I can just tear it open. Hopefully, it won't get stuck by staples. Okay. Jeez, sometimes I need to get pliers for this. All right, so we've got a scalpel going on. Make sure I don't cut anything inside. All right, so far so good. Okay, that's good. Breaking the jaw of the one that you have to break the jaw in. But it sounds like the jaw. Do you guys ever break the jaw? What's this now? Who do you break the jaw? I'm in a fetal pig. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's see here. What it makes this easier is if I kind of flare the side out here. So I'll cut that like a little And I'll come down on the side here. I'm trying to cut myself here. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and do this side too. That looks pretty good. Okay. Ooh. All right. There we go. And last cut here. This part. All right. So what we got going on here? If I flare this open here. Liver. The liver is the large organ on both sides of the body here. This is the largest organ inside. Actually, it's, it's your largest internal organ as well, the liver. Um, and function is uh, detoxifying the food that's absorbed by the intestine is the primary function of the hepatic function. But it's also for, you can see how greasy it is, producing fats. And in the case of fishes, they usually produce oils, omega fatty acids, right? Um, so these are non-unsaturated animal fats. A um, couple of the organs I forgot to point on the board, but um, anyway, this is the liver. Okay, the um, intestine is, okay, so let's go from the front bin. This is the stomach. This is the stomach, and I can tell it's, it's, it's eating something. This is, this is gonna be exciting. So this is the stomach here. Uh, this is the cardiac portion of the stomach. I don't know why they call it cardiac stomach, but it's probably because it's a muscular stomach area. And then this is the um, pyloric region, okay? And then the duodenum, there. And the duodenum, but always from the gut to the stomach to the intestine, this is the uh, pancreas right here. This pancreas is a kind of a glandular organ. It's not really like a discrete organ. It's kind of like a, I think of it like a bubble gum. Like if, if you ever found bubble gum stuck to your chair or shoe, that's what the pancreas is kind of like. This is, this is the pancreas right here. 
And this is the absorptive region of the intestine, the ileum. You can see all the vascular tissue on it, all the uh, arteries um, that are essentially picking up nutrients and transporting it back to the liver. And then the colon is pretty short, but the, where the colon is, is a um, the rectal gland. Um, only sharks have this, or you know, chondrichthys have this. It's osmoregulation gland. It's basically what they use this for is to regulate um, osmolarity of the blood. Got it? Want to see what's in the stomach? Yeah. It's got something in there. I can tell. Okay. Oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like some fish parts. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, there's osteichthys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, look at arthropoda, right? Isn't that like shrimp? Mm -hmm. Shrimpy. Right? She's a uh, porker, isn't she? <laughs> okay, here's a little fish head. Yeah, so you can kind of get the idea. I think that went there, right? <laughs> okay, so anyway, she, oh man, she's like, it doesn't end. <laughs> okay, so she, she, she was full. Oh, there's some more. Oh, there's so some more. more. <laughs> Holy smokes. Hometown buffet. <laughs> okay, so, um, so you can see the stomach can expand quite a bit, and it's got all <laughs> kinds of stuff in it. And uh, we found, you know, all kinds of funny things in here. But anyway, so that's the stomach. Um, so, um, and the, um, basically the pyloric valve will hold that in there while the acids break it down and then allow it to transfer in slowly. Got it? Sounds cool. Sometimes you find stuff inside the intestine as well. Well, let's go ahead and open the intestine. So you can see that spiral valve. See how the, um, in the intestine, see how, I'm better to use scissors. Okay, all right, so in the intestine, you can see that it doesn't have like just a straight shot through. There's this membrane that goes through on it. Yeah, see that membrane? And what it does, basically, it's a corkscrew where the food kind of has to spiral through and get absorbed along the way. And then again, the rectal gland is uh, just for osmoregulation. It's not a, a digestive gland. Okay, uh, other organs, um, spleen. Here is the spleen. It, it's associated with the duodenum, but it's not a digestive organ. It's a circulatory. It's for blood manufacture and storage. It's the spleen. Um, and then uh, we already saw the pancreas, right? This bubble gummy gland. The kidneys um, are located in the back body wall. And they are here. So along here is the kidney. I'll take the scalpel here and cut into it. This is the kidney here. What you can see is it's kind of a, um, a glandular, it doesn't really look very peculiar here, maybe even close, closer anteriorly. Kidneys are basically along the back body wall. So when you go fishing, oftentimes you'll scrape the guts out and then you'll take your thumb and run it up the backbone, scraping the kidneys out. That's what the kidneys are. Okay. These are, um, these are a uterus. Uh, she's basically, it seems like, uh, starting to produce uh, little pups. So this is the uterus here uh, so with some eggs forming. I don't know. I don't think she has any um, little little sharklets in there. Maybe she already, already produced them. That's, that's uh, egg material. Oh, there you go. Baby, <gasps> baby shark. So that was, um, that was the egg and then this is the shark pup. They're born alive with a little egg sac um, attached to them. Another one in there too. Oh my god. Can I take it home? <laughs> I don't know. You have to, have to put it in alcohol or something. Um, so anyway, those are little, uh, they, they do live birth, but that, that's basically the uterus there. So she probably had already produced a bunch of um, pups, and those are the only ones left over. Um, and this is the ovaries here. So, um, so the ovaries are up here underneath 
basically her armpits. Thank goodness for evolution, right? Uh, but anyway, the um, <laughs> they uh, so the ovaries are up here, and then well, they're carried along the whole side. That's my that's my favorite joke. Okay, so here's the ovary on this side, and then she doesn't have any any pups on this. It's a parameter, right? So if you've ever, um, I don't know if any of you worked in the vet office or whatever, but a lot of animals like dogs and cats have a branched uterus, and they have the same thing with the branch on both sides. Okay, circulatory system, you know, normally in uh, zoology, we'd, we'd spend a bunch of time on circulatory system. I'm not gonna bore you with that, but um, the basic idea is the blood from dorsal aorta has to be sent to all the organs. And so each one of these red bands and yellow bands are essentially circuits that go to and from the organs. But I won't, um, I won't make you accountable for that. Uh, okay, so good test questions. Um, stomach, duodenum, pancreas, ileum, rectal gland, spleen. Uh, kidney is not super obvious, so here's, here's a better view of the kidney. It's kind of this brown line on this side here. That little brown, uh, right along the edge of that blue cardinal vein, okay? We're looking good on that. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the uh, to the uh, cardiac cavity. And to do that, we'll dig down. The muscle gets thicker here, so it requires kind of some more finagling. Also, I have to cut through a pectoral girdle. The uh, cartilage that connects the pectoral fins is right there. And let's see if I can break that open. Okay, talk about crunchy. Okay, so here is our transverse septum. Uh, let me see if I can get this better um, cut here. Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Good. Okay. So here is our transverse <laughs> septum. I know. There, wait, the noise. Crunchy, crunch. Um, and so that's what divides the per peritoneal cavity from the pericardial cavity. This is the pericardium here. And let's see if I can. This is cartilage that's getting on my way here. You worried, afraid of getting flicked on? Yeah. yeah. I'll, tell it's you, happened so I'll tell you a funny story uh, that happened years ago, once we get to the brain. Oh. Okay, cut that. That's, I'm cutting gills, basically. Oh. Yeah, I think I can get rid of all this. Okay, so here we go, a good view of the uh, tr uh, transverse septum here, which is this kind of membrane that is dividing the gut cavity, the peritoneal cavity from the pericardial cavity. This is the ventricle here, big muscular uh, pocket here. This uh, little tube here is called the sinus venosus, it's, it's uh, sorry, the um, conus arteriosus. It's, it's sort of like our aortic arch, but it's not an arch, it's just a straight shot up to the front. And um, then, we'll see if I can find some of the first branches here. Right here you can just see the first branch off to the gills, the afferent branchials. And so this, this, this ventricle, conus arteriosus, then it goes to the ventral aorta, and then it branches off to these gill ar arteries, the, the afferent branchials that go to the gills. The atrium is behind here, this is the atrium here, and it's on both sides. This is all one atrium. It's kind of it's kind of like here's the ventricle and here's the atrium behind it like this. So the atrium is located right here. This is the atrium, and the sinus venosus is like it's like a bag. It's kind of like a um, like a shopping bag or something. It's this kind of big blue bag that's behind the heart here. It's not muscular at all. It's just membrane or uh, uh, mesentery. And uh, so you have ventricle, atrium, sinus venosus. And then we have this ventral artery here that goes to the goes to the gills. Sound good? So pretty easy uh, for the heart. Two chamber heart design. So I want you to think about that because on the frog we're going to have a three chamber heart. The atrium will be have a right and left half because of the because of the lungs. Anyone want to review before I go to the brain? We good? Where are we at? We're at ten fifteen. Okay, cool. No problem. 
Uh, you can tell here where the brain is because there's like a little smart knot, I call it, um, where it's like there's the top of the cranium here. And the eyes are obviously here, so the brain's kind of centered right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of shave off the um, skin and the cartilage. And this is the funny part where we were doing this, I had students doing this years ago, and a, a girl in the class was kind of enamored by this and she was like, had her mouth open and a piece of cartilage went Doo! and then it landed <laughs> right in her mouth. And you never saw someone move so fast, man. Yeah. Like, she went outside and spit and had to give it a drink of water. It's really funny. <laughs> she thought it was funny too. Okay, so I'm just trying to get the skin off. Did you guys all, all see the skin on the microscope? No, it's, it's still there, but you know, we'll, just, we'll keep it there until everyone sees it. Because I might have that on the test. Okay. Okay, so what I'm doing here is just kind of getting rid of the skin so you can kind of see the um, cartilage. Whenever I had students do this, I, I had to describe to them, you're, you're going to whittle. And, you know, and I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to poke fun at you, but like, most of the students didn't know what whittling meant. And I'm like, I grew up whittling. That's where you use a knife to scrape, you know, twigs or whatever into shapes. Not even a hunting thing. That's just, did you play outside as a child? Yeah, yeah. with with knives. Yeah. Nah, you just need to cement. Just gotta grade it knives. to the point. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So here is the cranium here, and what we'll do is I'll go ahead and start chipping into the cartilage. And the only reason I can do this is because it is cartilage, right? You can't can't really do this with bone, with a scalpel. You can see how soft the cartilage is. Anyway, if maybe if you um, if you uh, if you take chondroitin, you know, which is a dietary supplement, which uh, the reason why you take chondroitin is so you can get the amino acids that are part of cartilage. Um, sometimes they're they're actually shark cartilage that they they use for chondroitin. Otherwise, it'll be like cartilage from uh, animal rendering, uh, like uh, livestock, uh, cattle and sheep. Okay, we're getting there. So I'm into the brain cavity there. It's just I don't want to damage it. So I'm trying to trying to just kind of carefully shave it away. Anybody eat those gummy sharks as a child? Those things were bomb. I still eat those. Yes, yeah, so good. So I good. What yeah. makes them good? Just the gummy? They're sharks, so they're automatically better. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I could never do the Swedish fish when you were younger. Yeah. I can never eat gummy. I could never do the frog gummy. I was like, kind of in my head, and I was like a turtle frog. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's kind of progressive here. So you can see um, the, the little nose part, which is on our little cranium there, that little nose part right there. So we're getting like landmarks here. So kind of keep straight. All right, so here we go. So I don't want to cut down. So here's some facial nerves. Uh, facial nerves are for like, right, all that action. These are facial nerves here, which are, you know, the same nerves that we have for wincing and grimacing when you're given a test, you know, or smiling or whatever. Um, okay, here we go. I'm starting to see brain. Okay, we're getting in there. Okay. I don't like that sound. The sound? Yeah. Of the 
crunching cartilage. If it wasn't like specifically that, then I'd be like, okay, whatever. I still love like the sound. <laughs> like, sound like walking it on like snow. Like yeah. cracking of a like fire, you know? It reminds me of like when you accidentally like, scrape something like really hard on cement and it makes you like your bones. Oh, nobody says <laughs> Chalkboard. Now we have. Oh, oh, oops, oh, there you go. Gotcha. <laughs> The, uh, that's kind of like the um, the old days of having chalkboards that you could scratch or, uh, or all over. What's that? I think it hit, this is this next bounce back. Oh, okay. Did I get you? Not quite, you didn't get me yet. I didn't get you. Try again. No. I don't want to get it. Sure, juice on you. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Get on myself. Okay, so already, oops, we can see. Um, if I clean this out a little bit, this is where the little Barbie butt cheeks are. Get that on. I'm waiting for like the president of the school to walk by when I say that. Um, anyway, so no, he would laugh. He's like, he why, he, is this why I kept the class open? He, <laughs> <laughs> he'd think it's funny. He, he, he knows I'm a goofball. And so, um, but um, the, uh, okay, so here, oh, here we go. So does. It, this is the uh, little butt cheeks there. You can see the little, so this is this is the um, this is the optic lobe, right? This is the mesencephalon. This is the metencephalon, the uh, cerebellum type load, the lobe. Telencephalon here, where I still have to do some do some shaving here to get that exposed. But let's get we're getting close. I kind of wanted to see where I was before. Need a poncho for this thing. I know. Yeah. Lab coat. Careful, there will be splash zone. Splash zone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, there we go. And then there is the um there is the telencephalon. Okay, so telencephalon is here, and you can see the nerves going to the nose. There, there's a <laughs> Boom. So there's the olfactory nerve going right to the nose. The nose is right there. Right there. See that? And then this is the telencephalon. This is the olfactory. And they're really good uh, smellers. Uh, their olfactory system is pretty amazing. They can smell like, you know, a fish bleeding like a mile away. And uh, so there's that. This is the mesencephalon, the optic lobe. In between is the diencephalon that pineal pituitary. And you can see it's kind of like a brown goopy area. It's not, you know, neurological tissue has this characteristic like white pearly or ivory look. I think I think of like neuron tissue as looking like ivory. It has that kind of real characteristic appearance, white matter kind of thing. Um, the diencephalon, which is the pineal pituitary, kind of has kind of like a blackish brown goo. And that's that glandular hormone connection then we have the uh, metencephalon, and what I need to do is get back here, turn this around, uh, get a little perch on it here, and then uh, so I can I can direct it right to you guys. No, he's pushing it the other direction. Yeah, it's just I want to shave away from myself, you know, so I don't cut myself. Here. We're trying to get to the trying to get to the uh, myelencephalon. You guys do this, but I'll just figure it out go faster. Okay. Oops, got myself. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a benefit in the shark. It's cheaper. These things are like almost 60 bucks a pop now. I think it's worth the money, you know, to have the experience and see the specimens rather than just talk about them. Decided that her name is Gloria. Is it Gloria? Yeah. G-L-O-R-I-A, huh? Yep. Okay, so we're getting there. We're almost there. I'm gonna clean this up here. I can see it, but I, I gotta, I gotta get some cartilage out of the way for you. Sixty bucks. We got a deal. She had a whole bunch of stuff in her. I know. <laughs> she was even pregnant. I know. Okay, so um, I probably this is about as good as my mom's gonna get it here. So here's the um, here's the whole brain: telencephalon, diencephalon, which is the pineal pituitary, optic lobe, which is the mesencephalon metencephalon which is like the cerebellum and then the myelencephalon is kind of like you can see a y like a little y shaped structure there that's the brain stem the medulla oblongata there i can't really it looks like it kind of degraded a little bit and i can't really get it out but you can see kind of like a it's like a yoke there where the two branches come down so you can tell that the brain still is segmental it has you know one two three four five segments also you can see there's a right and a half lobe of each segment so it's basically like ganglia you know in a lot of ways there so there you go that's the shark dissection want to have any review on that you good mm -hmm. okay so good questions are I'll probably cut the head off here for the test and i might put a pin in you know a couple of these lobes got it is that cool with you guys yes telencephalon diencephalon mesencephalon metencephalon myelencephalon and i might ask you what the function of them are okay olfactory pineal pituitary Optic, a voluntary motor and involuntary motor is basically the, 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 the summary of it. Um, I probably don't have any time to ask for any external features on this. So the internal features, great things to ask would be um, ventricle, atrium, right? Those are great things to ask. Stomach, uh, duodenum, or duodenum, uh, ilium, uh, rectal gland, right here little finger and then there's a spleen obviously a liver I'm not going to ask that though or I might ask it with regards to the buoyancy on a separate question and then the kidneys are in the back body wall um, they're kind of like a glandular um, depression next to the spinal column what's that little warm like thing that was in there the rectal thing this um, this the tiny little worm this like right here this yeah oh that's a, a artery so this is the um this is the uh posterior uh, sorry it's the um posterior mesenteric artery so it's an artery that goes from the dorsal aorta the back the, the major blood vessel in the body is the dorsal aorta and then it branches off into this is the um uh this goes to the intestine uh mesenteric and then another one here crosses and goes to the stomach and spleen, called the gastrosplenic. And then this one, you can see these go branch off to like the rectal gland, et cetera. So there's a whole plumbing circuit. It's kind of like driving down I-5 and getting off on 44 and 299 and, you know, 36. And that's kind of what the system is. What I normally would have done is required memorizing all these blood vessels. Um, and then we look at the frog and it only has one. They, all these are go away and it's reduced down to just one. <coughs> What you see in the circulatory system uh, in vertebrates is they simplify. They go from real complicated bunch of branches to just um, one major branch, and it's kind of a theme in uh, vertebrates. Glory is done. All right, so uh, you're welcome. To, if you want to use gloves to do that, I'm going to go ahead and toss all these. Um, you know, you need alcohol, so what you can do is we can put these back in here. Uh, um, and if you want to bring a little thing of alcohol or something like a little rubbing alcohol, or whatever, cool. If you wanted to save one of these. Um, Kind of gross, but you know, whatever. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop all this in the trash. I'll leave this uh, out here for a moment. I'm gonna put her back into the bag there. So if you want to get a chance to look at that, let me take a look at the uh, skin here. Did she? 